Welcome once again. Today in history, I'm going back to the year 1983. It is uh, popularly called the uh, Ash Wednesday 2. And this happened in South Australia in the year 1983 on the 16th of February. It was a day when one of the worst bushfires occurred um, in, in South Australia. Of course, those parts of the world are known for things like that. Um, it was a series of bushfires that occurred in, um, in that area from 16th of February 1983. And within 12 hours, more than 180 fires fanned by winds of up to 110 kilometers per hour caused widespread destruction across the states of Victoria and South Australia. Um, years of severe drought and extreme weather combined to create one of the worst fires in a century. And of course, they eventually became the deadliest bush, uh, uh, bushfires in Australian history until, of course, in 2009, when uh, there was the Black Saturday bushfire. Uh, 47 people lost their lives in Victoria. There are 28 people lost their lives in South Australia. A total of uh, 75 uh, uh, people died. And, of course, more than 2,000 non-fatal um, uh, people also, non-fatal non um, um, incidents also um, in that uh, bushfire. In many cases, residents fended for themselves as the fire broke communications, cut off escape routes, and severed electricity and water supply. It says also that up to 8,000 people were evacuated in Victoria in the height of the crisis, and a state of disaster was declared for the first time in South Australia's history. Yeah, more than 35 townhouses were also burned in the small town of Victoria. More than 3,700 buildings were destroyed or damaged, and 2,545 individuals and families lost their lives. Livestock and, of course, animals were not left out. The losses were also very high. 340,000 sheep, 18,000 cattle, and numerous native animals either died or um, were later destroyed. Um, insurance claims also were, you know, you know, through the roof in that period. Um, one hundred and seventy-six million dollars um, was a total estimated cost of um, a part of the insurance claims, and over well over four hundred million dollars also um, in that era also. Um, and so, yes, it is in, on record one of the worst um, disasters that has ever hit South Australia. Um, and that happened in 1983, of course, um, you know, like I said earlier, before the one that happened in 2009, which is called the Black Wednesday, um, it was on record the worst natural disaster that had hit um, South Australia. You know, I was saying earlier also that it's one of the things that we apparently need to be somehow, some way lucky for here in Africa, that we don't have a lot, we don't have that many of these nat natural disasters. Yes. We don't have a lot of earthquakes, we don't have a lot of these bushfires, we don't have a lot of uh, tornadoes and things like that here in, we don't in have Africa. Them. No, uh, but people actually. say that um, Africa's natural disasters are their leaders. Yes, uh, yeah. that's, that's what's, uh, that's the word on the street. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, going is. back today in history, uh, today, February 16th, 2013, Angelina Jolie, award-winning actress, underwent a preventive double mastectomy after learning she had an 87% risk of developing breast cancer due to a defective gene. Now, she carries a mutation of the BRCA1 gene, and this sharply increases her risk of developing breast cancer and ovarian cancer. She said that her doctors gave her the estimates that she had this risk, and uh, even though the risk is different in, you know, in different women. But recall that Angelina Jolie's mother, uh, her name was Micheline Bertrand, she died of ovarian cancer in the year 2007 at the age of 56. And you know, so this definitely increased her chance, as the doctor said, up to 87%. So she had the mastectomy. It's an operation that removes all or parts of the breast. And she wrote about her experience. It involved a three-step process. You know, she went through the procedure and said she wanted to write about it to share her story and encourage other women about the mastectomy. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she had this uh, this mastectomy, and they uh, eventually put in about uh, two uh, replacements. You know, in that area and. Uh, it was a very, very big story at that time. It was featured on CNN and the rest. And uh, the good thing now is that uh, she's received recognition for this, encouraging women to definitely check, you know, take preventive measures and definitely, you know, take uh, uh, what's it called now when they have to check for the breast and check if the, you know, the possibilities of having cancer so that everybody can take preventive measures uh, for this issue.
Yeah, and, and I think that's the big, the biggest part of you know all of it. You know, is how much um, it was a reminder to everyone that you know everyone, regardless of your your race or your you know um, status or your your um, whoever you are, um, can be a victim. You know, and of course um, for, of cancer. And so it was important, you know, at that moment for girls across the world, people who loved Angelina Jolie, to be reminded to always check for lumps and to check for any of the smallest symptoms of uh, breast cancer. Um, it may not be the you know, easiest thing to do to have a mastectomy, but if it is the only way that you can save your life and um, leave cancer free, then it needed to be done. Yes. Um, and good thing that you know that she was also, you know, she is a living example of someone who's had a mastectomy and of course prevented herself from developing, you know, cancer. Yeah. So, and, and most um, of these things basically, you know, doctors keep warning that you need to check. Early prevention is better than cure because most absolutely. of these, uh, you know, you don't check, you don't find out, and it's you know stays until the later stages when it seems like you know just very little can be done to prevent the, the situation. Yeah. So, so don't always wait till it's breast cancer awareness month or you know cancer awareness day and things like that to remember to check for lumps. Um, there's um, um, everybody you know really every female. I think guys also, you know, have their own um, role to play. Role to play. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Um, as reminders, not necessarily to check, but to remind their women and people you in their lives too. You can help your spouses, to, definitely. Yes, you can help your spouses check. But um. so yes, today in history, uh, February sixteenth, twenty thirteen. Uh, what happened today in history was Angelina Jolie, the actress we all know and love, underwent a mastectomy. Mrs. Smith. And of course, in 1983, in South Australia, it was one of the worst disasters to ever hit with the bushfires that occurred uh, for 12 straight hours and led to the death of 75 people also um, in that incident. Um, that's all we have for you today in history. Stay with us. We're coming back in a bit and we're talking about one of the most popular African women, one of the most popular women in the world today. I think she's also been rated as one of the most influential people in the world uh, multiple times. Ngozi Okonje Iwela, an icon. And uh, we're going to be talking about her journey through, um, of course, the WTO, what responsibility she has and what um, you know she needs to do at a time like this to ensure that the WTO continues to thrive as a body. Stay with us. <laughs> 